Hey guys, it's Riley. I'm back again with another video in our first time homebuyer series. In the previous episode, we talked about the home buying process. This week, we're going to address the question, where should I live? As well as when is the right time to leap into home ownership? When deciding where to live, be sure to think about what's important to you. Do you want to be close to friends, family, or work? Do you need to have a garage? Would you prefer a big yard or no yard at all? Are you open to coming in and making some changes or would you rather it just be to your liking on move-in day? Next, be sure to consider your lifestyle. Do you want to be in a walkable environment close to your favorite coffee shop, restaurants, and nightlife? Or do you prefer something more quiet? Once you figure out exactly what it is that you're looking for, your real estate agent will build a custom search based on your wants and needs. From there, you and your agent will start the official search. Now, expect things to change once this physical search begins. You may start adding needs to your criteria just as much as you may take some away. Touring homes not only helps you get a better idea of what home feels like to you, but it helps your agent get a better feel for your desired vibe as well. As long as you're open and honest with them, it's always better to over communicate with your agent than under communicate. Try to be open throughout your home search too. Remembering that the first home that you buy may not check off every box. This is extremely important when you think about your long-term goals for home ownership. If your dream in five to 10 years is to start a family and have a five bedroom home, it's crucial that you enter the market early so that you can take advantage of the opportunities to build equity and financial stability. So why is now a great time to enter the market and how do you know that you are ready? Do you plan on staying in the area for at least three to five years? Do you have a steady employment? Do you have a savings account built up with sufficient funds that you feel comfortable with? Interested in having creative freedom in your own space? Do you wanna start investing in your future? If the answer to all of these questions is yes, then congratulations, it sounds like you're ready to start your home buying journey. So let's discuss why now is such a great time to jump into the market as a first time home buyer. There's less competition, which means more negotiating power on your end as the buyer. There's less cash needed up front for both due diligence and earnest money, as well as closing costs. We are even seeing cases where the seller is paying for closing costs or buying down your rate so you can comfortably afford the monthly payment. Homes are also sitting on the market a lot longer than they have the last couple of years, giving you more time to make a decision and not rush into anything, allowing you to feel more confident and excited rather than stressed. I know that this seems like a scary time to invest in such a big investment, but remember, time in the market beats trying to time the market every time. While we're on slogans, I need to add my personal favorite, which is date the rate, but marry the home. Meaning get into the home while you can negotiate the price and later down the road when rates come back down, because they will, refinance. For more information, click the button below to find other videos in this series to help you along your home buying journey. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to click the notification bell to stay up to date with all of our videos. I'll see you next week.